Thank you all for being here. Um, and uh, we just want to say six days ago, on this spot in broad daylight, several shots were fired. S several of those shots struck a 41-year-old, Amaria Grant. The family with whom she, she worked know, knew her as Sonia. For six days, our detectives have interviewed witnesses, followed up on numerous leads, and combed these streets for evidence. After six days of concentrated, hard police work, today we have a break. Today we have a picture of the suspect. Witnesses told the detectives they saw a man, about five foot seven, between 140 and 160 pounds, running off after the shooting. According to witnesses, the picture you see here is the gentleman whom they saw. Every life in this city is precious. Every murder demands justice. We have to work hard in our city to make sure we get guns off the street. Today, the reasons why Anne Maria was shot are less important than actually finding the person who shot her. Our detectives today are not going to talk about motives, and they want you to focus on this sketch. We want the public to take a long, hard look at this sketch. If, in fact, you have seen this person or you think you know this person, please call us at 822-1666. That's 822-1666, and that's Detective Hardiman. It could, this could be the face of a killer, and we want him off our streets. Violence anywhere in our city will not be tolerated. We are also announcing today a reward for the information leading to the capture and conviction of this suspect. It is my hope and prayer that this sketch and this reward will lead us to justice and, uh, and justice for Amaria's family and her extended family as well, who's here with us today. That extended family has asked to speak to you. They are adding to the city's reward and hoping to catch her killer. Now I would like to introduce Mr. Ken Farino. Ken. Thank you very much. The first thing I would like to say is how much the, uh, my family appreciates what the city has done, what the police have done, and what the people in this community have done. The, out, the outpouring uh, of sympathy and support that they've given us has been beyond belief. Uh, we would like everyone to know that Sonia lived with us from 2004, raised my children from the time they were five years old. One is now in law school, one is at Cardinal Newman, and one is a senior at Alabama. For all intents and purposes, she was another member of our family and another child of mine. And she had the heart of a child. She was an absolute wonderful person and we will miss her beyond belief. Uh, and we are going to add to what the city is going to do and double whatever reward that they have so the person that did this can be brought to justice and that the community can be rid of a person who would do something like this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Farino. We appreciate that. As you heard, Mr. Farino has just doubled the amount of the reward, um, and that is really important. So now we're talking about $10,000. Um, I want to repeat that our detectives are not answering questions today, um, not, and uh, we really are not going to talk about motives or possible evidence or details of the case. Their priority, as it should be, is catching this killer.